Okay, we are approaching the part four of 8.1 of Savage uh, book. Uh, this is uh, the place that we're gonna be talking about the conversion. Uh, you can read characters. Remember, we talked about this in chapter six, that you can potentially read uh, numbers as characters, and then we can switch it to the number. We work on it in chapter six. Uh, it was a little hard to do it over there because we didn't have enough tools. Now here, we can use some of the tools available for C string to actually take a C string and change it to a number. So a couple of people did this. I don't know if they knew about this or they found something on internet, but they were doing this even though we did not cover it. So we can convert C strings to numbers. And uh, if we have a C string, we want to convert it to numbers. There are some functions available. So we have something A to I. Uh, it's like ASCII to integer. Uh, that's going to take these things and it's gonna change it to an integer, one, two, three, four. It's gonna give me a number of these. If it has something in there, it's gonna stop right there. So if this is at the beginning, it's gonna give me zero. If it was after one, it would give me one. So it would try to convert it as much as possible. There are some larger integers that's called the long. So we can do a to L for long, we can do A to F for float, that we're calling them double, which is the double size of the float, and float is the numbers with the decimal. So we can use uh, that also uh, to change it with the decimal point. Of course, it has to have only one decimal point, then we can use these. So we have A to I for integer, A to L for long, which is double size of integer, and A to F for float or double or decimal. So these are all in CSTD lib, that's C standard library, that's uh, in there to find it. So we can use these things to do some cleaning up. So we can have a read and clean, uh, we can uh, do that, that's your display 8.2. So it says that the reads a line and input discards all the symbols except the digits. And then it's gonna convert it to a number. So it's gonna read things, whatever it does that digit is gonna not throw it away. I remember that the leading is not, we did something similar to this in chapter six. So we are skipping over any other character. We're gonna keep the digits. That's the function we're going to be talking about. So this is the function. Of course, in here we have the array size. That's six. That's the constant we have. We could potentially put this as a global parameter and pass it into this function, or we can have it here. Uh, so we're creating our array for that size. We're going to read a character. Our index is zero, and it's checking to see show it's not backslash n. That's the enter key for the user. And we're going to be checking the get. So remember, we can just tell the user to push enter to terminate. So they're putting some stuff with the enter key at the end. So as far as this digit, and we are not going outside of our array size, we're going to add this to our string, digit string. Now, I told you the C string doesn't have equal sign, but we are not using a C string over here. We are using an array. We are moving into array index by index. We're just adding index. And that's what the next is gonna go. Remember the next is a character. It is not number, it's a character. And that's the is digit is going to check it to be sure it's a character. 
So we're going to keep getting the next character. Uh, remember, we do it before the while loop, and then we do it at the end of the while loop. And when we're done with reading, we got to put the backslash zero at the end of our C string. Again, we have to keep track of those things. And then we're going to call the A to I to create a, a number for us. So this is a sample run. So I can put potentially a dollar sign 100 with a space in there. It's going to give me a hundred. Uh, if it's a hundred by itself, if it's 99%, it's going to give me 99. And if I have something like 23% space, and percent, and percent, five a space, star 12, it's going to give me just the numbers, 23, 5, 12. This is another uh, function in 8.3 that is uh, going to be uh, using the read and clean and also is going to have the get int function in them. So it is asking if that's a correct number and if it's not, then it's going to ask again, it's going to ask again till you say that's the correct number, and that's what's going through it. Just go over it as an example to see what's going on with that. So I'm going to stop right here for uh, uh, this one. This is going to conclude 8.1. We're going to have activity that uh, we're going to be doing. So we're going to answer these questions for our activity, and uh, please be ready to uh, post it when, when I post the activity 8.1.